Welcome back, gentlemen. Welcome to Empress Club once again, and thank you for joining me. Excuse me. We are chapter two. It's called Pilgrim's Progress, and it's about respecting other people's time. Uh, a friend of mine loves to say, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And you may wonder what that has to do with Pilgrim's Progress. I'm going to explain it to you, and it's going to make sense. Now, being a man is not easy, because if you're a real man, like, the, I forgot the president's name, I should know it. The buck stops here. Uh, as, the real, as a man, the crown rests on your head. You're in charge, you're responsible, you make the tough decisions, and therefore, you deal with the fallout and the consequences. Now, what that has to do with Pilgrim's Progress? We'll get to that right now. Now, Pilgrim's Progress is about respecting time and other people's time to the point where you don't waste it. You don't waste time. But not only that, you don't interfere with no one's progress. You understand me? That's what the young man did. He interfered with everybody's progress. Everyone's progress. And not only that, not only did he waste his time, has no problem wasting other people's time, and disrupting people's progress. Do you know how, have any idea how much trouble, I, I doubt the fool even knew how much trouble he would have caused anyone who had hit him. He even though he was walking off the, on the sidewalk and just walk into traffic. And when he got on the lane with the oncoming traffic, he walked into it backwards, with his back turned to the traffic, arguing with someone, with the people on the, 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 on the other lane, of, on the other lane of traffic. So you waste my time, you waste my time, you interfere my progress, you get me in trouble, with the law, the insurance country, company, you can go deal with the courts, the police. No one has time for that. This is why time is the first chapter. Don't waste time. Respect time. Now, now the thing is, I don't know if anyone do school pickups. So most people would leave on their lunch hour to pick their children or drop them off and to some place, someone to watch them, go back to work so they can come back within an hour or two to pick their child up. Uh, you know, in, in 217 where jobs even hard to come by and people are looking for a reason to fire you because they're trying to cut back. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I, I guess this guy probably don't know how much danger he was in messing with people. Now, you just disrupt that person's progress right there if, if they hit you or they lose their job. So, this, these are the things men don't do. Men think ahead. Men think of how his actions affect others because other people's actions affect you. And if you know anything about esoteric wisdom, you know that the wheel of fortune turns. Yeah? You reap what you sow. The karma is a boomerang. Your actions are a boomerang. And karma sends it back on a freight train. If you do foolishness, uh, it returns exponential when you do sense. The young man is doing foolishness. Impeding other people's progress. Now, the importance of this is, see, I'm sorry, I'm not talking to the rich man and, and young man who, whose family have money and connections. And all. I'm talking Joe Blow, who gets, like Drake said, started from the bottom. You, get, you have a goal, you want to do something with your life. You have no resources other than what you know you're capable of and what you wish to achieve. And here comes this fool, step in front of your car, you hit him. You gotta get that fool to the hospital, you gotta deal with the police, you gotta go to court, deal with the insurance. Then you gotta deal with your job, because now 
you may, you may miss days. And then especially if you work a shift job, you know, like cut your days back, because oh, you're inconsistent. You don't need that. Who needs that? Hmm? And not only that, one of those gentlemen had started shooting and someone got shot. Hmm? How much nonsense you have to go through after being shot, depending on where you get shot? The hospital. God help you if you need blood. And then, oh, to oh, find the right blood. The right amount of blood. And therapy and, and, and re rehab and all of that. No one has time for that, man. You disrupt my whole life. You impede my progress. So, that man don't do that. Like, uh, what is my man, my JFK, President JFK, salute to the general. He said, a rising tide lifts all boats. No, I, I, I take that for what it is, and, and that, that applies here. So, man, I make sure my actions don't impede anyone else. Because you know why? You don't know how that person's going to respond. Just like those two men who promised to come back with their gun. You don't know how anyone's going to respond when you impede their progress. What if someone's child is in the hospital or someone's child is sick and has to be taken to the hospital or their, their medication has to be delivered right away and you're doing foolishness? You impede people's progress. You deserve to be stepped on for that. But then you can't do that because then now that's going to waste your time. This is going to disrupt your life and what you get to do. And that's what men do. And I see this with, with knuckleheads driving. They don't respect the roadside. They don't respect the signals. Red, for some reason, means go. I mean, I, I, brought, I, mean, I didn't feel kindergarten, so I know what red is. When I see the color red, I know it's associated with stop. The color green, go. Can you tell me why a young man who over 18 can't make that connection. Hmm? Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe this the red octagon with SDOP on it may spell pots to a few young men. But the stop. You run the stop sign and hit my car, you disrupt my whole day. You disrupt my whole plans. I remember I got in an accident. There was an older gentleman. I had, to, I had a flight to catch. I did not have time to wait around with no police. I don't have no time to do no paperwork. I have no time to do nothing. So I told the gentleman, sir, I have a flight to catch. That's very important. I missed the opportunity. I missed the opportunity to buy a new car. So, shake hands, let's call that even. Boom. Why? Him hitting my car, the old man didn't do anything wrong. He, he just probably, his brakes is not working. But he stopped my progress. I was on my way to the airport. I was on my way to put a pretty penny in my pocket. I was on the way to do something nice for my family. But he come and paid my progress. I call this Pilgrim Progress because um, I like when John Wayne gets mad. Now look here, Pilgrim. <laughs> my mind went on the old man hit my car and had to stop. The devil is a liar. Dude, I don't care how busy you are. I have things to do. Same thing happened to me again. Mind my business. Gentleman ran me. Bang. So I didn't see you. Well, I had a green car. Maybe you couldn't have seen it. I was sneaking off from my job to go on the job interview. <laughs> For a job that I was told to be paid double. So guess what? I ain't worrying about this old car, man. I am chief. I got a job interview. I got to sneak out from work to go on this job interview. I don't have time for this. Shook hands. Boom, bang, boom. Why? My progress was more important. I could not have my progress stop. I could not have my progress stop. A, a, a young man. You do, men do not impede another's progress. 
and especially other men. Not saying women deserve to have their progress made, no. Life treats men differently than it does women. That's a reality, I haven't gotten into it. If you are born with a silver spoon in your mouth as a man and your family isn't connected through money, politics, what have you, you get a long road ahead of you. You don't need no one adding to it, all right? I think it was Sizzle who says a raggy road. You get a long road ahead of you. The last thing you need is someone adding to your, your cross. You don't need that. So, gentlemen, between the ages of 10 and, well, I say 18 because you're still a minor, but usually by the time you're 15, 16, you, after 16, you, you're practically an adult thinking, unless you're a thinking young man. So I'll say 10 to 18 for thinking young men. Don't impede anyone's progress. What that young man did, he thought he was a big man because he got to stop traffic on four lanes. No, you impede another man's progress. You impede other people's progress. You invite the wrath of God to fall on you, tell you the truth. Because, I mean, I wouldn't hurt the old man. I wouldn't do that. But I'm over here. I'm trying to do good by my family. Get the opportunity. This still hits me. So, you hit me. You ruin my car. I miss my flight. I miss my opportunity. My family doesn't get to improve their situation. What you think I'm going to do to you? Not, not, not the old man, I'm just saying on the whole. That's with that young man. Hmm? God, for me, I, 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 I was joined the fray because he was interfering with my money. The gentleman whose car we were fixing, if we didn't fix it that day, he was going away at 5 o'clock. It was 2.45. It didn't get fixed. We had to wait a week. I had my money planned out. If I didn't get paid for that job on Friday, I had to take money from elsewhere. And that's another thing. Why well, you don't impede anyone's progress. You don't know you're affecting people's money. You get stepped on for that. And that's why men don't impede another's progress. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially working men who try and do something with their life. Like I learned in New York, hey, don't mess with the money. People who hate each other work together as long as they don't mess with the money. Don't mess with the money. In essence, that's what you're doing with, the pro with, with impeding another's progress. You're messing with their money. You're messing with mine. I was ready to join in the fray too. And I can understand why those two gentlemen wanted to shoot him. And I would have played blind too. I get my Ray Charles on too if the police questioned me. What? Me? I was ducking, officer. I shouldn't tell a lie, but you interfere with my money. You interfere with my family's well-being for a week. <coughs> Excuse me. You just dropped my whole life. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, I don't care about you or your feelings. Now, gentlemen, let me tell you something. It's the last thing I gotta say. If you want to make an unnecessary enemy, <coughs> excuse me, interfere with people's progress. With that being said, do not interfere with anyone's progress. Catch you on the flip side, gentlemen, where we'll be dealing with uh, progress, having a goal, <coughs> have a goal. Goodbye. Sorry about that.